You want to be a big dog. You want to be a savage, a beast. You want to be great. You want to be elite. You want to be going on that next level, whatever, whatever the case may be, whatever title it is that you want to use with yourself, that's fine. But one question is, how much are you willing to endure to get there? How much are you willing to persevere? How much perseverance are you truly going to develop to get to that next level? Because you can. Listen, I firmly believe everybody, any and everybody has the capability to get to that next level, to get to really wherever you're at. But the true question, the real separation is how much you're willing to endure to get there. You know, how much real trials and tribulations are you really, truly, truly willing to put your your mind through, your body through, your spirit through, through to get there? And if you can answer that question, you're willing to go through the mud. And how long, however long you may have to go through it, I don't know. I had to go through it for 10 odd years, 11 years before I really started to see the benefit. And honestly, no, let me even take that back. It took me 10, 11, 12 years for me to change the way I was thinking because I was constantly trying to be a victim. Every, every time something wasn't going my way. Oh, it's because I'm this. He has more than this. He has more than me. I can't get, I can't get ahead. All of that. I used to say that every, every time, every time when things would get hard, you know, I didn't get the job. I would lose in the match. I'm not getting bigger. Oh, I'm too, because I'm not tall enough. Because jeans, blah, blah. That used to be every time I was playing a victim role. But once I changed my mind frame, and I got tested again, once I did change my mind frame, and really said to myself, no, 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 I'm going to take more accountability. I got tested again. I got tested in 2020. I lost everything. And I still kept going. I lost my mother. You know, I watched her go. Right? The job, the industry vanished because of this lockdown. And plenty of people who went through it too, vanished. Everything was put on hold for me. And I could have went right back to that victim mentality. And for a second I did. For a second I did. You know, I would just curl up under the covers and just say, oh, I give up. This is, I, can, I can never get past this. This is never, oh, life is over for me. But I had to say to myself, okay, you're acting like a real, you're acting really soft. You're acting really soft. You say that you're a beast and you say that you're hard and, you're say, and you say you can get through anything and you say you have a powerful mind. Okay, and look what happened. I got tested big time. So what did I do? And it was tough every day, but I had to make sure I keep going. You know, when all of this happened, I didn't go back and out pick up these new vices. I didn't go pick up a drink. I didn't go pop pills. I didn't, I didn't go get high trying to mask the pain that's going through. And I'm hurting every day. I'm in pain every day. I'm hurting every day. You know, and I don't know what's going to happen next week, next month. I don't know when this shutdown is going to happen, like I said before. But what I can control is what's going on in my thoughts and what's, what I can control in my action. And that's what I have to make sure I do every day. So when you tell me it's too hard... When you tell me it's too hard, because people tell me, they're like, oh, this is it's been a rough week. I think I need to take a break. Oh, man, I've been training for four days. I feel like a car hit me. I need to take a break. Okay. It feels like a car has, has hit me every second, emotionally, physically, and mentally. But guess what? I still have to keep going. And I want you guys to keep going, because I have to lead by example also. If I'm going to do these videos and tell you guys to get off your ass and go do this, do that, I have to make sure I'm leading by example too, right? And I got hit with one of the hardest things that nobody wants to deal with. I don't wish this pain on anybody. I never want you guys to feel what I'm feeling. So if I'm going to be the one to put these videos out and to push and motivate you guys and hopefully inspire some of you guys out there, I got hit with one of the hardest tests. Like, okay, you say all these things, here you go. And I have to keep going. And... Every day is hard. Every day is harder than others. I get that. I 100% get that. Trust me. But if we can just make those incremental steps. Why do I I get in, I go to jiu-jitsu every day. It's not because oh, you're learning how to you're learning this cool martial art, you can learn how to choke people and tap people out and break arms. That's a byproduct of it. That's a byproduct of it because I want to develop the discipline. Jiu-jitsu is one of those those arts and things where you're faced every day with adversity. You're faced with a problem. It's tough every day. Every day is a hard day. 
And the only way you can get better at jujitsu, you have to show up. And if you decide, oh, I don't want to, it's too hard for me. I don't want to deal with it. Okay. There's someone else in there who, who's willing to go through it and they're going to get better. And they're showing up and up and up and up and up. And they're going to beat you. So that's why I love jujitsu so much because it forces you to deal with your problems. That's my therapy, like I've said before. It forces me to just go inside a place because for that very moment, I can just be in tune with what's going on. So my mind has more space for me to allow other thoughts to come in and I can fix the problem. I can think about and really just be in a problem solving atmosphere. And when it's all over, my, my head is so much more clear and I'm able to say, okay, we can, we can get through this. We can do this. We can make this work. Something we can, we can make, I can do something. I can do something. I can create a plan of attack. Like I said before, staying on the course of action. And that's what I do every day. Every single day. That's why there is no days off for me. I'm not taking a day off. Oh, I'm sore. It hurts. Oh, I just need a, a break. That's fine. You, you, you go ahead. I'll be in there. I don't want to hear anything from me. I don't, and this is my talk. This is what I say to myself. I don't want to hear about it hurts. I don't care about it. it hurts. Right? When my body is feeling sore and wrecked, I'm going. Because when my mind is feeling wrecked and it wants to stop and it wants to keep going, it wants to stop. I have to keep going. Because I want it to stop. I want it to give up. I want to just go under the covers and just watch Netflix all day. And I'm trying not to curse on this channel. I have to make the conscious effort to say, no, get up, go, get up early, set the alarm early. Even if you don't have to, I'm getting up early because I know nobody else is. I'm creating that intensity in my mind. I'm creating that discipline in my mind. Because right now, my mind wants to say, you've been... You've been through all of this. Go back to being a victim. So I have to keep on fighting. So I have to train every day. I have to get up early. I have to take care of the business. I have to get all of these wins. No sleep. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. Take care of the business. Keep developing mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Keep on developing. Through all of this, through all the pain, the shutdown, everything, we're still going forward. Because... Even with this lockdown, it seems like it is never going to end. It's going to end. We're going to get through this. Things are going to be better. And when it does, we have to be ready. So let's get up. Let's get out. Go work out. Go to jujitsu. Go to work. Go be the best you. Go be loving a loving friend, a loving father. Everything. Every, all of that is being a beast. That's, that's, being, that's going to the next level. The only thing I'm just talking about going to work out and that's it. I'm talking about being elite, being great, being a beast, being a savage in everything that you do. Go out there and do it. Go. Do it. But don't say you're tired. No. We don't have time for that right now. You're tired and things keep on going. Life keeps on moving. Trust me, I know... From experience, life keeps on going. Life doesn't care. Life will throw you a curveball and you don't even know. And you're not even ready for it, but you have to just deal with it. Let's go.